Hey now, hey look here y'all, this is Booney Productions, Vince's Kitchen sponsored by Booney Productions. I'm Vince, um, I want to get y'all in on this, I just couldn't, I don't know when I'm going to be making these meatballs and things again, so I just had to get you guys in on this now. Okay, so, so we got it going, let's see what's happening, down here. Trying to be able to see the, uh, oh, wait a minute, huh? Right, right. Now I'm going to let you see these, uh, basically I'm getting ready to, we're getting ready to turn these Vince's Kitchen, I'm getting ready to turn these, uh, these meatballs over. Okay? Yeah. Now I can see you. See, I got this, I'm getting used to my camera. So, camera, I'm going to try to, I haven't loaded anything on the YouTube yet, but I'm going to try to find out how to do it with a converter, and then I'll just go ahead, I'm going to discover some of the electronic uh, uh, advantages to uh, downloading videos, download videos on YouTube, so forth, so this is what I did, basically we went on ahead, we got these meatballs together and used the Parmesan, and uh, we use uh, 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 Italian uh, parsley, fresh parsley in here, rolled it up on in there, and some bread, Thai breadcrumbs, what I use. And uh, basically, well, roughly a uh, beef that's, uh, you know, a beef that's 80-20, uh, you know, a little bit of fat in, you know, it'll be 90-10 in school. Cause we're gonna be, and remember we add them breadcrumbs and things too. So I'm gonna put these back in here and let these roll on 125 or 325 for uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 10 more minutes. You know, cause we like them to be juicy and everything. So they are juicy. Okay, we put that in there, and then I'm gonna we're gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna put this in here. Then we are gonna go to uh, sauteing the vegetables and getting the sauce ready. All right, you guys. <clears throat> you can see what's about to happen here. Is uh, we already got some mushrooms here. Here, <clears throat> and we got some orange bell peppers here. I'm gonna <clears throat> put them to the side. We'll chop up. We're getting the sauce ready for the, for the uh. For the, for the uh, pasta and meatballs, so <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna chop up a, a white onion. Start a little bit of that there. <clears throat> I had a sauce already started making, and I freeze those sauces that I already had made too much of. And I put them in the uh, freezer bag, so I add them to the new sauce. See? Now you got something already flavored, and so forth. <clears throat> Just gonna put all these in the olive oil. So we preheat the oven now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's about ready. I'm just gonna <coughs> put it over there. <coughs> but, uh, there we go. Now we're gonna take put these white onions in here. That's pretty much, you know, size. <clears throat> Maybe adding a can of uh, adding a can of um, diced tomatoes and some hunts, original sauce. So <clears throat> we got those vegetables done. Then yeah, we're gonna. I guess we can go ahead. <clears throat> we're still still heating up the uh, the oven for those. Give we're gonna stand by here just for another second. 
All right, all right, we back in, y'all. Let you get a close up of this. <clears throat> See, this is how we're gonna start the off. We're gonna put these bells in. And we're gonna put these onions in. There, fresh onion, uh, these are yellow onion. And uh, now we have some uh, <clears throat> have mushrooms right there. Those are large belly mushrooms. Put the belly mushrooms on. That's the first time I had large ones like that. You got those of Sam. You're going to add a little more olive oil. In there. <clears throat> yeah. Those are getting ready. I am gonna hold y'all up. I'm gonna get the rest of the sauce and, and things ready, and then we'll, we're gonna show you how to finish this sauce. All right, while the meatballs, of, I'll turn the meatballs over in the oven. So here we go, guys. We basically are, uh, we just uh, 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 softening these up. You know, these are my. Uh, Bell peppers, my, my uh, spaghetti sauce vegetables. Okay. Now we're about to go ahead and add them to the meatballs. Uh, done. Now we got the meatballs out the oven. And we'll be going to, I'll show you how we make those. We can make those meatballs with, you know, with uh, fresh parsley, uh, parmesan cheese. And uh, breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, basically. That did it, did it, did it there. Oh, salt is awesome. I think I added a little, uh, I have some hamburger and steak seasoning and spices. I put it in there too, on a meatball. So, this is basically now we got the uh, vegetable saute in olive oil. Go ahead. Throw these diced tomatoes in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it going. Then we're going to bang it to a bowl and let it simmer. We're going to put some uh, Hunt's original pasta sauce in here. It's all right with me. I shake that up a little bit to get all that, that Hunt's uh, original traditional <laughs> pasta sauce so you get that little bit added in there. not too much water you don't want that to you don't want to mess up the flavor so you got that going there and the hunks is in there and all the veggies right there and see like i said i had a um uh, another spaghetti sauce that i had finished I don't know where I had it last night. <laughs> I decided not to do some last night. So, I'm going to pause for a second. And I'm going to get that, that uh, pasta sauce that I freeze. And I'm going to add to this new sauce. Here we go with this. I ain't going to have nothing from you guys. But that's basically what it is. Now we're gonna bring that to a to a ball. This here, pasta sauce, and uh, this is actually a pressure cooker pot. Might even put that on top of here. Here's the pasta sauce that we get frozen. We'll get that, put that in there. Just gonna let that thaw out, and then we can start letting it simmer and all the flavors get in here. But I'm gonna let you see one more thing that we are gonna do. We are we got some minced garlic already minced. We're gonna put a little bit of this uh, minced garlic in there. Uh huh. That's that's enough. Wait a minute. I think I got a whole one. It ain't all minced all the time. I don't want that garlic in there like that. So, it look like I got a. 
another little hole went down there at the bottom. I hadn't even really noticed that. There it is. There's the garlic. And then we'll be right back after this simmers all up and we'll make that plate of spaghetti for you. So show you what it do. Show you which way the wind blow. Right back after this after this method. Okay, y'all. Vince's Kitchen, sponsored by Booney Production. I'm Vince. And this is spaghetti sauce. It's now it's uh, you know, we did we did boil we brought it to a boil and simmered it down and there it is. All mm -hmm. oh, that good is y'all. Here. Yeah. I'm about to have me some. See. Go ahead. Do some of that and bell peppers. Put some bell pepper on there. And yeah. ah. Oh. Slicing that meatball, y'all. See what it did. Might have to blow this. Y'all have a good one now. Alright, now. This is what it is. Get it, meatballs. Homemade meatball. Mmm. 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 Kitchen signing off. Hey you guys, I'm going to welcome you to uh, Booney Productions, uh, hosting Vince's Kitchen. And here today, you can see I already started my Thanksgiving Then I said, let me go ahead and put this on the tape. I haven't yet put it on YouTube yet, so I have to get a converter for my uh, camera right now. And, uh, and so we are...